Okay, so I've got a bit of a problem. I've um, once created myself an, a nice little uh, logo for my website many years ago that I want to reuse. And the trouble is that it's uh, sitting on my computer um, from about 10 years ago. And since then, I've, I've had upgrades, I've, I've upgrades and I've lost stuff, I've gained stuff. And all I have left with my logo is just a image. And here it is. Let's place this in here. Uh, okay, so I've imported in. And that's my logo. Probably it's just an image, it's not scalable. Um, and I want to recreate this logo, but I have one thing that I don't know is what font I originally used. So I went through and in Inkscape and I tried. Uh, the different fonts, trying trying them out and having a look, and uh, just not getting anywhere. So the Arial, Arial font, or the I tried Calibre, the uh, Franklin, and I just haven't got a clue what this font is. I know it's one of the defaults because I didn't actually pay for it. So how do I find out what font that is? Well, it's an easy way. There's a website. There's a website out there called What My Font and I'll put that in the actual um, notes for this video which you can actually upload an image to and it'll actually tell you the near matches or the exact matches of the fonts that you can use to actually uh, recreate your uh, your image so let's go over to uh, the website itself so it's um, myfonts.com slash what the font okay and if we go to this site and have a look down here you'll see a drop image here to identify the font and it's just a case of either dropping it or clicking on it and let's find my font let's go for large icons there it is sorry let's find my logo we upload upload the logo close that and we'll just crop to part of the image um there we go that part there that's enough to get my font click on the arrow and that will go away and actually try and find out what font we're actually using so here we are also oh, we're it's giving us a list of uh, fonts they are a close match and with our image on the top left so the first thing i'm going to do is I'm going to put the full text in here. Logo. That's it. Uppercase J in the logo. Delete. There you go. And hit change. Change text. So now I've got something to go on. Um, so I can have a look at these and compare them to what I've got up here and see which one I like or which one that I feel is the exact match. I'm not liking these prices along the right hand side, I'd rather have something that's uh, either free or cheap because I knew that the font actually came originally £163? £164? $1.99? That's unbelievable, just for a font. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking at these and I know my one was free and I'm thinking that because this is a, uh, yeah, that ends right, that's G's right. I'm thinking this is our closest. Now I've already, I've already gone and, f and found this font online, and it is free. I've just done, done a search for health 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 rounded bold. And I've gone on off online and uh, found the font, and it's actually downloadable for free because I knew I got it with the computer. And it was a Microsoft standard standard fonts there, so I have downloaded Helvetica font, Helvetica rounded complete, and from here I should be able to recreate my logo. So there you go. If you get caught and you sorry I didn't mean to do that, and you're stuck to find uh, trying to figure out what font it is that you need to recreate the logo with. Or if you see some 
some fonts that you really like to create your logo or a piece of artwork, then you can go off to um, what the font and actually go and uh, load in the image and find your fonts and hopefully find something free. If not, pay pay out because obviously someone's taken the trouble to actually make these fonts. Okay, so that's a little handy tip from me in the the old Inkscape series that I'm uh, put together for for YouTube. Okay guys, thanks a lot.